as for joining us for this other edition of Crossview. We are beaming live here from Moliko, and we'll be yours for the next one hour, 45 minutes or so. In today's edition, we are receiving two crack team of uh, knowledgeable gentlemen, and we shall be talking about in recent uh, the recent uh, letter of the President of the <coughs> Republic. We are asking ourselves whether truly the head of state has written to the Secretary General of the Ministry of Sport and Physical Education as far as the litigation uh, between the Cameroon uh, Football Federation, FECA Foods, and the Cameroon Football League that is headed by General Pierre Semengi. Uh, some weeks ago, the FECA Food decided to call on league clubs to start preparing for match fixing, following a correspondence that they received from the uh, uh, FIFA, which is the World Football Headquarter. We are asking ourselves today for long as far as this uh, litigation between FECA Foot and uh, the Cameroon um, uh, Football League is concerned. Who is losing? Uh, uh, footballers, for example, since have been lob lobbying to go to the stadium, but because of this uh, problem, they are unable to practice what they know best, that is football. On other issues, we shall be talking about the 250 people's magistrate that have now taken oath of service before um, the, Supreme General, the Supreme Court Justice Daniel Mekobe and uh, the Procureur General Luke, uh, Luke uh, Jondo. Actually, they were taking uh, this oath at a time when the judiciary is being attacked, especially with the auxiliary, the lawyers, whom for some now have been detained following the uh, recent detention of some lawyers in Douala. But before that, there was uh, assault or they were battered and uh, humiliated in the court of justice at Douala Bonanjo. These will constitute, ladies and gentlemen, the stakes of our discussion here tonight. To join me on the panel and already seated is Mr. Angana Bless uh, Ani. He is a political analyst and is coming from the University of Boya. Good evening, sir, and thanks for joining us. Good evening, Mr. Siri. It's my pleasure being here. And I wish that anytime you call, I'm more screen time to be here. It's your Thank first you time much. on uh, CMTV? Yeah, it's my first time on CMTV. You are welcome. Thank you very much. You Mr. are coming Zeri. from the University of Boya, and uh, you, beside being uh, a political analyst, you are a diplomat. How, how is the environment there? No, the environment is cool and conducive for, 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 for knowledge to be born, because as you know, University of Boya is a place to be when you are not there. Okay. When you are there, you need to look for means to spread out knowledge, or you born out knowledge. Okay. Thank you. Thanks for being with us. After you. you is Mr. Gentle. Mr. Gentle is uh, actually a political analyst, but an educationist. I would always like to emphasize on that. He has written uh, the story of the GCA level and O level for so many students uh, for several years. I mean, some of his students now should be graduating from the university also. We are so glad to have you tonight, Mr. Gentle. After a while, good evening and thanks for joining us. Okay, thanks very much, Mr. Modrito. <coughs> All of us, we are happy to be here. Uh, after a long time that I've not been here, I'm happy with the program, the CMTV team as a whole. The panelists, the techni technical department, I'm happy with what they are doing. I think it was not an abuse to say that some of your students uh, back their bachelor's degree already? No, it's not an abuse. Okay. It is and uh, it instantly inspire us. Okay. Normally, it is clear that the young shall grow. Okay. It is very clear. Any generation are your own people. Okay. Yes, they, they, they are generational leaders, generational teachers, generational students. You must follow it like that. Somebody will take me somewhere, I need to take others somewhere, and they will take others. It should be a transition. It should be something, there is nobody that is permanent or monopoly of knowledge. So if my, some of my students are firing face degree, some of them to back face degree, some of them doing masters, it is pride and not embarrassment or disgrace. It is part of life. The young shall grow. We were born to, to grow up and then that other will take over. That right. Is life. The paper has been very fertile uh, these days. I want us to focus on the Anglophone Daily, uh, the Guardian Post, that title, Government Order Suspension of Controversial uh, Phone Tax. 
at a time when so many were thinking that the phone tax is behind us, why has the newspaper come back to reflection over the uh, phone tax? Uh, Mr. Siri, thank you for, I will, I will still thank you for giving me the floor. Okay. Uh, you know, situations happen within the visits of time. Right. Now, the order for, the, the phone tax was being placed by the government, yes. and the newspaper could not armor rightly or correctly, but that notwithstanding, they, they went back reviewing some issues so that they can have more points to place it on the table to the government to see that really these phone tax are going to be effective or not. You see, when you have issues at hand, I appreciate not to act in a very arrogant manner which we, in one way or the other, angered the government, but to sit down and place your card. When you place your card, you will see how favorable your card is, then you go about with the project and you see you, you are going to succeed or not based on the condition that you, you've you, you've seen on, on, on the card that you place on the table. Uh, at the time when the Secretary General at the Presidency, uh, His Excellency Mr. Ferdinand Gongo, uh, signed that document in, to bring down the uh, phone tax as was promoted by the Ministry of uh, Telecommunication and Postal Services plus the Ministry of Finance, he said they should look for alternative measures through which this tax could be implemented. Has the Guardian Post had some uh, indoor conspiracy uh, knowledge about the new way the government is preparing to impose this tax on the people, or they are simply uh, reflecting over it? To be, they are simply reflecting over it. Okay. But Mr. Siri, we should understand that, that notwithstanding, people have been proposing that the impressed or the media should be the fourth arm of the government. With, with, from, from the three that we all know. Yes. But that notwithstanding, we are unable to put this fourth arm of the government. When the media is when the newspaper is coming, they are not like giving an ultimatum or placing a decision. It's an opinion which, in most cases in this country, we've seen how newspaper have executed their, 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 their opinion. And when, when that, those opinions are being placed on the ground, you see it's successful. So it is not just a write-up, but it is something that is passing through the mind of the people. You understand? So it go a long way to educate both the common man and the government to see how they can come on the table and moderate this tax to pay in another way, or if they are going to pay on phone, which I don't, I don't know how effective it can be. Then we should rethink about it. After you, Mister um, Ani, uh, gentle. Do you think? Truly, that the government has suspended everything that this uh, tax, this phone tax concerned, because at the time they told us that it was a law voted through the Cameroonian Parliament, and that it was only left and promulgated by the head of state, and that it was only left to be implemented. So, if the government have come back now to suspend this tax, are you seeing a violation of our legislative arm of government? Is, we, can, we can't put this violation of this um, arm of government. You know, following the constitutional law, following the law in Cameroon, you see that uh, the president is the head of state at the helm of decision making in Cameroon. He can, they, by law, he got the right to send somebody to prison. By law, he had the right to declare the court presidential clemency. So it is nothing like violating it. It's by the constitution that he had the powers to sometimes step in when certain decisions have been taken. He had the powers, constitutional powers, to step in and put an end to certain things. But, okay. <coughs> but when it comes to the issue of uh, uh, phone tax, phone tax I, I, I think. Um, it was, I, I, I don't know whether it's a suspension, we we'll call it suspension, but I, I believe that it will later on be finally that it might not be, they might not again look into it that they will impose it or they will tax the, the population of Cameroon because it most uh, economic expert had critical aspect about such tax. And I believe that the government also listened to the cry of the population and economic expert and look at the detriment or the disadvantages of this issue of phone taxes Do to the population. Do you think that the hashtag social media campaign that was run, that was rushed on the end phone tax uh, campaign uh, or, or, or of uh, 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 issue will have Force the government hands to suspend a decision that was taken in our parliament. Uh, Mr. Morita, based on that issue, the issue of social media, 
on the, ha the high tax to end phone tax, I, I, I think I will not say that yes, but actually it was because of the pressure on social media and the government. Because if I want to say that yes, it was a pressure on social media for the government to respond by suspending the, the phone tax, I would say then, what about the, uh, the, the hashtag on angry phone crisis that is going on? I think <clears throat> it was within the, the government uh, decision, the head of state decisions, look at it. I, I, I let's say that when the issue of the, mm, the phone tax was circulating, the Cameroon economic expert who looked into it and discovered that this tax, this, this tax, this, this population are actually this tax, we end up, there's still decision that the government might take. And after the response of the population, we'll go, the government can go behind and have an executive meeting and look into it and say that it will be of detriment to the population. It will be of detriment to the country as a whole. So by government suspending it, I don't have any, I, don't, I can only link it with what is circulating on social media because we have heard about N and phone hashtags on social media, but the crisis is still ongoing. The only part of Africa that enjoys social media play a major role in issue of hash or end what is the NSAS that happened in Nigeria. But Social how media. inclusive has the, ang the end anglophone crisis has been uh, as compared to, you know, the phone tax issue was, I mean, attacking, no. uh, I mean, was an inclusive and was attacking both French-speaking and English-speaking Cameroonian. But mm -hmm. the end anglophone crisis uh, apparently only uh, concern the anglophone uh, community. Don't you see that the population that was supposed to back the anglophone crisis is what might not have given it the weight for the government to consider the plight. Uh, Mr. Abad, I will be differ with you. That an anglophone hashtag mostly circulated immediately after the 24th October incident, where some about six to seven students were educated by unidentified gunmen in Kumba, southwest region of Cameroon. I, I, I think when immediately when that incident happened, the issue of an anglophone type, it was a general, it was, although majority of the people of Norway and South Africa, it was. drove to the southwest, so those could also be measured that are fallout of the an anglophone uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, hashtag. That, I, I want to take now related to what circulated on social media because immediately after incident, it, not only people of Norway and South West will put, put, put pressure on social media, part of Cameroon, other part region of Cameroon also joined. Artists, civil society represent many other people man pressure on uh, end and from crisis on hash tags. And then, not with, I want to relate it with what you are saying concerning the end, uh, the hash tags for, to end uh, phone taxes. So I, I, I think I, I won't go by saying that the government put an end to it because of social media pressure. Because we have seen situation in Cameroon, just like the Anglophone crisis, where there have been social media pressure, but notwithstanding, nothing has changed. So I, I don't think, I, from, from my own point of view, I believe that the government went to it. After, because the pressure was not only on social media, I see repeat that there were Cameroon economic experts who looked into the issue of phone tax and discovered that it had a lot of witnesses. And because of the law of witnesses, the government goes behind to take some decisions that no let's let's look into it before After you mr gentle how controversial was the phone tax uh it has a lot of controversy okay. because i don't see how you pay your tax through your phone i don't see how that but can be effective this is the way to partner with telecommunication network like ntn and orange and force them to deduce through mobile money services taxes on particular phones yeah mr moderator you you can understand something there are people that hold phones for 500,000 francs that can, they can't put credit for 500 or they can't their account is not up to 500. are you attacking a particular group of people yes women women of course and excuse me before i will elaborate more on these issues i want to relate with my dear panelists on on on, on, on the, the I'm a, I'm a N anglophone war and the M M N M phone, phone tax. tax. Now there's this there's this relation. When it comes when it, when it involves human life, there's nothing that can be compared to human life. Human rights have been violated. Women and girls have been violated. How can you compare it with a, 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 a ten thousand tax that will be paid on a single phone? Those are lives that have been claimed by the anglophone crisis so when you say it was it was it was not really viral like end phone tax no the the whole country the whole nation cameroon is clamoring to end anglophone crisis is that a view of the mind or this reality it is a reality has spoken with some sound french speaking brothers and they are so much concerned about the crisis some few hand pick you say so yeah i know but that notwithstanding, I wanted to make you know that when it started, 
They never knew it was skyrocketed to this level. They trusted the government. They trusted the government that the government is going to put measures to end this crisis. But that notwithstanding, both sides had excesses, which has made us to, to be where we are today. See, that notwithstanding, I'm trying to say that the end phone tax and the end anglophone crisis or war cannot be compared because in the anglophone crisis, lives are being claimed every day. The most painful thing is students, not students, children that does not know anything that is happening in the country. Unknown government will come, gunmen will come and gun them down. And that is horrible. And the same government, according to the Guardian Post, have resorted to use women, young people, and NGO to advocate for the returns of peace and the disarmament campaign. How successful do you think this campaign will go? Uh, with the disarmament campaign, Mr. Moderator, I would like to differ that it has nowhere to go. Okay. When you look at Anglophone crisis, it is, it is a spirit. It is a spirit that cut across. It, it is not something that started in 2016. These people have been clamoring. I don't think I can go back and be teaching us in a class two, in a form two, and form three history. Now, the government have only placed temporary measures. To be frank with you, if the government want the anglophone crisis to be solved, or our brothers that are sponsoring from the diaspora, then inclusive dialogue, which is the only solution, I can say at this point in time, the only solution to drop guns down. On September 10, 2019, the President of the Republic, His Excellency Mr. Pobia, called for a major national dialogue that had from September the 29th to October the 3rd. What do you make of that gesture that the head of state did? It was a good gesture, maybe at the wrong time. And it was a good gesture, maybe with the wrong people. For example, there are three camps in the Anglophone crisis. We have the unionists, who we'll call them one Cameroon. We have the federalists, the two-state federation. We have the secessionists, who we'll call them the, 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 the separatists. Who are those fighting? Who are those claiming lives? They are the separatists and the government. Now, the federalists were being invited in the dialogue. What are they to gain? Or what are they to lose? The, but the, 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 main the, same that, the, the same meeting that you level not being uh, 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 I mean, inclusive actually saw the participation of some separatists in the diaspora that were even converted to federalists. <laughs> Padia Asanga, for example. Yes. When we talk about the separatists, right? It is not every person you call on the dialogue table. There are some key actors that when you call them, the thing will dissolve in the twinkle of an eye. There's no need for this BB grammar and all the like. When there are some people that when you call on that dialogue table, automatically the guns in Bamenda will be dropped. The guns in what, wherever, Libya alone will be dropped. Now, I told you it was a good gesture, but the, the, the willingness is in the heart. So if we can take upon ourselves as a responsibility to say no to this crisis and call our brothers from the diaspora and those in the prison, in the cells, in the whole sect, and talk to them like a father, I think this anglophone crisis will be stopped in no distance of time. After you, Mr. Not, Annie, after you, I'll, be back, I'll be back to you, Mr. Annie. And Mr. Gentle, do you see the campaign, the government is calling for disarmament to the children the women and NGO being a realistic strategy. Uh, just my, just like my fellow panelists is trying to, is trying to, what is trying to <coughs> elaborate. I, I think that it's an excellent initiative from the head of state for the disarming to 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 make sure that this this boys and boys disarm. That came in on the fourth of mm -hmm. October two thousand and eight. That's an excellent initiative. Yes. But I will still go back to what he's saying. <coughs> What most attempt that the, gov that the government have done a lot, okay. but people know that was just like Oliver twists. We keep asking, we keep asking. Why are we asking? Because despite, the, despite what the government is doing, nothing seems to change. 
And because nothing seems to change, we, the people of Norway and South Wales, like, like all of our twist because we are tired of blood. Would the government have tired, well, the, wrong, the wrong mechanism? That's what I'm saying. Going back to him, that is what we call window dressing, Mr. Moreto. And coming back to the dialogue that the head of state president probably announced on the 10th of October and then started 29th to 3rd of October <coughs> 2019. Uh, I think it was an, still again an excellent initiative. Even the Balingali, Com Balingali Commission, excellent initiative. All, even what we are going to have on the 6th of, of December 2020, regional election is the excellent in initiative that the government does have state, taken by government to end the crisis. But I still repeat that most of them, just we are all over twist, most of them, we look at it as window dressing. Why, why we see most of these diplomat or international uh, organizations, most of the advice they are giving to this thing is sincere dialogue. Look at the road cost of the crisis. Sincere dialogue, look at the road cost. Pundit, most Cameroon pundits or critics also say that the dialogue was more of a monologue than a dialogue. Why are they saying that more of a monologue than a dialogue? Just like my fellow panelists say, unfortunately... Mr. Ani? Mm -hmm, Mr. Ani. Unfortunately, most of the... <clears throat> most of the invitees or most of the people attending the conference, most of them, unfortunately, most of them, although we have some of these boys, separatist fighters who testify, whatever their own viewpoints, we have federal, federalists who have unionists, but there are some key actors that normally they need to be. They, 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 when you look at the number of people who are dying in Norway and Cyrus, it's time for Cameroonians to be, we should look at each other friendly in, front, in, in the face of each other. We should sit on the table, look. In, in the eye of each other and tell the truth about Cameroon. I think we are all Cameroonians, whether it's military or whatever, dying, we are Cameroonians. In a recent uh, appearance on the media, the uh, national coordinator and chairman of the uh, Commission for Disarmament, Demobilization and Reintegration, Mr. Fayengo Francis, actually talked of some 700 uh, ex fighters that dropped arms to regain the DDR centers, out of which some 500 are left. He accounted for 100 that have peacefully regained normalcy and are currently going about their affairs. Mr. Ani, I want to come to you to ask you, do you think the national chairman was lying if the effectiveness of the disarmament uh, campaign is questioned? No, I don't think he's lying. Okay. Details have been given. He was entrusted with this responsibility. So any result that is coming, if questionable, then we need some real facts. Okay. But we should also understand that telling them to drop their arms, coming to the, to the center, it is not a solution, to be frank. Okay. How? The solution is to remain in the How? Bush. That is not a solution. Okay. The solution is not remaining in the bush, nor taking them to, to, to the DD Aru centers. How can you, let me ask you a question, Mr. Moderator. How can you come to my house, you take my child and kill? Do you think I will not give birth to another child? Is that a paradox there? I thought I was the one asking questions. Yeah, on yeah, no, no, I, I want to explain something. Okay. Now, the leader of the secessionists are there. They are there. Who are they? Elected by who? They are not elected. Okay, self-proclaimed leaders. Self-proclaimed leaders. Okay. After the consortium, I don't know if we need to go back there. You are right. They hijack the crisis. Okay. And take it to their own direction. Okay. Now, we are dropping our guns here, which is a very good thing. Okay. A very good thing that any man, any youth that would think of peace should do that. And we should also remember that both in the state armed group, and the non-state armed group, they are the youth. Right. So we are the one keeping the 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 the, 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 the conflict the, 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 the conflict, conflict on, on okay. or we sustain the conflict. Yes. Now I'm trying to say that if you want to kill a grass, start killing it from the top leaf to the root. Right. Because if you leave part of it, you regenerate. Okay. So my own opinion. The government should have called these top safe program leaders. We know them. Some of Chua them are, are also detained in prison. Yes. An some invitation of, was sent to them in the diaspora, but they declined the invitation. Yes. That is why I'm saying that it is a good gesture that the head of state has um, proposed that came up with, you understand? Right. Like the father of the nation to call my children to talk to. But maybe the time that we perceive, it was not a very good time. Or the venue, or the was, venue was not a very... Because you, 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 you heard them saying that 
the venue is not the best. The real hammer on the venue, that the venue was not the best, we should go to Accra, Ghana. Oh, we should go to Swiss. You get? Now, the problem is, if we really love this country, because I follow the, 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 the Nigeria civil war with Ojuku, Nigeria is today fine without any separation. Nigeria is today very fine without any separation. This country is just that we, we, we tell lies. Oh. We don't want oh, to tell. Both, both the separatists and the government. Do you think the separatists were telling, there are, there are any way of telling us the truth? This crisis is about four years today. Ongoing. Ongoing. And they told us that in, 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 in one year time we will have independence. It started with a matter of weeks. They said weeks, they yeah. They were landing in Boya. In that is it. Yeah, they were landing in Boya. That is it. That's what I mean. I'm saying that the both parties have excesses or oh, had their excesses the excesses are still ongoing is there any roadmap either on either side on how to end the crisis if this armament is discredited no what i'm saying is this armament is not in totality um, discredited okay. but this armament should be able to come out with another direction or directive not only taking arms from these population or from these boys not, but also not only asking the people to, to drop, drop the their arms, arms but, but also seizing the fire seize the fire then ask some of the separatists to calm down and dialogue after ask you the separatists to calm down after you mr annie uh, mr jensen i want to ask you so much talk on ceasefire and if we cannot support the government in its move to include young people women and ngo Definitely for reasons best known to them, to accompany them in the love in what they call love attacks to disarm fighters. Uh, how, what other proposal do we give as a way to put an end to the raging war? Well, I think, <coughs> Mr. Moreto, what makes the people of Norway and Southwest to be reacting so, calling for so anxious for this crisis to come to an end is loss of lives. We can't play with humanity, loss of lives. I think there are different human rights, non-governmental organizations. The last time I read about one person non-governmental organization was given that almost 3,000 days. That are Cameroonians. Those are Cameroonians dying. So coming back to what you are saying is, we have in no way condemned GDR. Okay. We are only saying that the, proce support. the process is too slow. Let's rapidly do something. We are because seven hundred person in two weeks, no, in we, two months, we, in two years is small. The seven hundred person in two years. Um, the crisis started since when? In 2016, we have four, four years today. It's ongoing. And what my fellow colleague, Mr. Anya, made clear, it is look at the innocent children who don't know anything about political activities so or political situation in Cameroon gone down by unidentified men. So, do what we are saying... Are collateral? What we are saying is that, Mr. Moreto, we are... What makes us... We are crying that the urgency that we want this crisis to end, it is becoming unbecoming. And anything possible, as I, I, I think, we are, not, we are not refusing the measure put in place by DZR to end this crisis, trying to convince most of these boys to the boat to drop their weapons as the number increasing I are recommending. But our problem here now is... If, if, if this crisis continues, we have in 2020, we're having terrible months, now of the terrible months, because 2021, it will be how many years? Five years. Loss of lives. So why government continue with the DDR on the other hand? On the other hand, government to try to call for ceasefire. We're listening to what he said, Mary Tos, uh, as uh, uh, Bishop uh, Cardinal Tumeme, he called here, be on the feet, and he was being picked up by these boys. He pleaded like a cardinal that the head of state to look into it, that they should call for amnesty. For some of these guys to be released, or if possible, for 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 a, a, a ceasefire. Even though some pundits closer to the regime think it was a setup, he did with the guys. We don't know the politics. I can't support the politics, or whatever. But we don't know following social media and even news that he was pick up, and we see how he was. But then he was saying, we what we are crying is that if this is anything that can end the crisis. But there's something, Mr. Morito. There's difference between ending and come an anglophone crisis and peace to return in Northern South. There are two different things. Ending the crisis is one thing, peace returns to Norway and Southwest, one another. What am I saying? They can end the crisis, yes. There's peace in Norway and Southwest, but they are not solving the problem. 
Going by the Tumi will that calls for clemency and the general amnesty to all the anglophone detainees in various uh, detention centers. Do you see that as an ultimate solution to end the anglophone crisis? I, I, I think that we know, we know the role Tumi are playing in this crisis. We know he'd be here uh, uh, earlier advocate for an AGC for Anglophone Conference, which he, he, at the end of the day he never. I, I think by that state is towards a final and sincere dialogue. Because they are not releasing them, or they are releasing them for them to sit on the table. Let's find a way, my brother. What happened that you are calling that our beloved country to be to cut apart, to divide into two? What, the, what comes to Amaya is a, a separatist. What comes to Amaya brings the issue of Ambassonia. I think uh, with the assistance my, 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 my fellow panelists are make it clear that there are some key actors here that if only to release them from prison, can quench them, can calm down things, can calm down situation. We are all Cameroonian. I keep saying this, that you don't love Cameroon more than me. We are all Cameroonian. And I keep saying something that whoever is in a position to end anglophone crisis and the person fails to end the crisis or is, un 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 is unable or don't want to end the crisis because of your own political or personal interest or whatever, the person can be above man, but cannot be above God. I keep saying this because we look at the number of people of Northwest and Southwest, those that have already died, those that are refugees in different parts, those that are IDPs, and it is call for mankind to rethink and let Cameroonians sit again on the table. After you, Mr. Gentle, Mr. Ani, uh, do you really hold, as we are moving out of this topic, that if the government grants general amnesty to Anglophone detainees, is going to help fast track the disarmament process. That's just one of the conditions, okay. Mr. Moderator. That's just one of the conditions. So instead of going second, for NGOs and women no, and no. children, they should rather go for no, the general no, amnesty. No, remember, this NGO were never here, were never in Boya or Northwest when there was no crisis. We have local NGOs. Too. We have local NGOs, but for one, let me tell you, before it, it was renowned that you go left, you meet NGO, you go right, you meet NGO, it is based on this crisis. And they know what they are gaining. Because Mr. Siga will tell you there is no free lunch. There is no free lunch. I, I don't that, understand what you are talking about. <laughs> there is no free lunch and means nobody can give you anything for nothing. They don't give uh, anything NGO out for business? <laughs> Serious business. When you see the Danish Refugee Council coming, the doctor without borders, they know what they are gaining. That is why my co panelist said. Are you proof said, what they are gaining? We, we, we are lost <laughs> on the platform. I just leave it at the point that there's no free lunch. Okay. If there's no free lunch, you need to understand that nothing on this earth goes for nothing. So, what they are receiving is beyond us, it's beyond our imagination. Now, so, so I will take a simple example to, to dress beautifully as you've done. It does not just take your suit, your shirt too, and to sit here. It does not just take just one thing. To end Anglophone crisis, it does not mean to, to, to work in partnership with NGO to, 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 to stage out the, 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 the committee. But it cut across some key issues and key actors like the sincere dialogue. A dialogue that is not conditioned. I will say it a billion times. We need to sit with our brothers and discuss. And even before we sit, let's look ourselves into the mirror and you tell yourself, you tell the truth into that person you are seeing in the mirror that sincerely this is where I went wrong and this is where. Uh, Mr. Sigi, I love something in the Bible. You see, before somebody like Matthew look the gospel, before they want to say something about somebody, they will first of all tell you where they went from. Okay. Yes. The problem that is killing us in this country, it is very difficult for a minister to say to his sub-director that, I'm sorry, I went wrong here. It is very difficult for a separatist to tell his, 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 his collaborator or what. We are seeing them how they are disagreeing. They are in total disagreement. This one is saying that we should go this way. This one is saying that we should go. Whoa, 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 there's fight. Even among them, they are fighting. But the problem is, if you are a sincere man that you love peace, tell your friend, my brother, I went wrong this way. The rain started falling on us this way. Let's see how we 
come across. Because this mansion, this mansion that we are building because of this crisis is not worth a drop of blood from those innocent students from Kumba. After you, Mr. Work. Annie, we will be back. We will take a small jingle. When we come back, we shall be taking uh, the two topic uh, register for today's edition, the tussle between uh, Faker Foot and the Cameroon Football League, plus the Enam graduate, uh, some people's magistrate. Stay with us. We will be back.